lower rocks. Mm -hmm. It used to start down by East Berkeley Street out to Mass Avenue. Okay. The south end, which is Roxbury, mm -hmm. used to start at Mass Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's now starting at Melnia Cap. I grew up in Mission Hill, mm -hmm. which never considered itself Roxbury, mm -hmm. but it is. Roxbury, for me, I lived on Harold Street near near Monroe Park, and I was always told the line was right at, on our street at Harrowshaw, the H Block area. Harrowshaw is still what you would call the hill, the I, Humboldt Avenue. Humboldt Avenue, yeah, right. So if we're going towards the east, Roxbury is still Warren Street. Right. Roxbury Absolutely. is still Blue Hill Avenue. Right. And then Roxbury is Columbia Road. Absolutely. Most people are calling that now Dorchester. Dorchester, that's right. Okay. That's right. Roxbury for me used to go all the way down to Forest Hills, mm -hmm. Green Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll get Green Street. Okay. But now Jamaica Plain starts at mm -hmm. Seaver. Right. So where Franklin Park used to be part of Roxbury, mm -hmm. it's now Jamaica Plain Matter. Franklin Park? Franklin Park. Okay. Okay. His old name, first name was West Roxbury Park. Because Roxbury actually went from, in 1868, went from what was now Dover Street, East Berkeley Street, mm -hmm. all the way up to the Dedham Line. Mm -hmm. okay. So everything in between, like West Roxbury, okay. Lawsondale, Jamaica Plain, all of that is Roxbury. Mm -hmm. I grew up here. Overcrowded. Growing community. Growing community. Home, comfortable, happy to be here. Anything that bothers you about Rockman? Shootings, the killings. Oh. It's like an every weekend thing now around here. Multi-culture. I think that Roxbury is an amazing place to be. It has changed so much. I love everything about it. I love the transportation. I love the food. I love the people. I would have to move, I believe, because of the affordability. It's very expensive for someone like me who comes, goes to college and is, is young and has a full-time job. It's very expensive to live on your own here. Community. Okay. Despair. Because of the fact that they spent $145 million on a building in a community that was desperate for not only employment, but the ability to learn trades and help the family in the community. And instead, everywhere I look, I see places that say on the pickup trucks, uh, New Hampshire, who don't pay taxes in the state, they come from New Hampshire. They work in Roxbury, which was supposed to be the place of ill repute. They follow the money here, and the money we spend here doesn't stay in our community. It goes elsewhere. The location um, is very nice. I mean, you could literally walk on a nice day to downtown Boston. The fact that it's extremely historic. I mean, when I was a kid and I lived in Roxbury, we had the old L that ran above ground. The hardworking people that are in this neighborhood, the majority of people in this neighborhood, they work two and three jobs to pay the rent to survive and try to, you know, make a life for themselves and their family.
opportunity to people who are living here now to be able to live a life that is better than their parents and not to have to struggle and wonder what the situation is as far as all these single mothers who are raising these kids without a father and the majority of fathers that are in jail, I bet you they'd be really pleased to get out here with a hard hat on and have a career instead of a job, which is just over broke. The historical backdrop of Roxbury from its very uh, inception in the early uh, 1800s, 1600s, uh, where, where I'm standing right now used to be the center of commerce for Roxbury that extended up to the Upper Ham Corner area. Unique, unique in its values and its social projection. Gentrification and the rent escalation that's going on in Roxbury. A lot of people have been moved out of Roxbury because they can't afford, afford Roxbury. And it's just a shame that uh, people take flight and they come back. And then you have to take flight, then where are you going to go? I think of Malcolm X, all the good stuff that's been going on around here, the community councils, you know, you got a little violence. Um, probably, probably the greatest boroughs in the city. Anything that could be better? Um, probably more street workers, I believe. You know, there's a lot of violence in the city. I think of uh, the black community, that that's its center. And that when we think, when I hear Roxbury, yes, I think, okay, that's where my people are.
what I think of Roxbury. Um, I think of home. This is where I grew up. And even in returning, after about 35 years, that it still feels like home. Actually, the people and the convenience of things about it's sort of it's like compared to where I places that I have been um, it's small and um, it's it's still it's a great community it really is crime that's probably the worst thing that interrupts everything and um, that's really what I can say because there's hope here When I think of Roxbury, I think of home. It's a community of color. What could be better about Roxbury? Mm, let's see. You know, I've seen changes in the neighborhood. It's become more diverse, but it's still considered, you know, Roxbury, I feel it's still considered uh, a community of people of color, still. Oh, I think that everybody's. Um, heading this way towards Roxbury. I just think it's, you know, it's moving up moving from the south end and just heading this way. This is one of the places that people want to live. It's a wonderful place to be. I love Roxbury. Okay.